are times in the Gospels when you hear people ask about the prophet. Now, you have Matthew who writes and talks about, as the prophet said, and he's talking usually about Isaiah. Sometimes there's another prophet that he's quoting when he just says the prophet. But when people ask questions of Jesus or John the Baptist saying, are you the prophet? Or they say, we have found the prophet. What they're talking about is Moses. Remember, God had promised he would raise up a prophet from amongst the people, from amongst their brothers, and that they would need to listen to him. Not to anyone else who would come claiming to be coming in God's name, but they were to come and they were to listen to the voice of the one that God established and raised up. And of course, that is Jesus. Moses led the people out of Egypt and their slavery into the promised land, but Jesus is the one who leads us from slavery to sin and death into eternal life. When we look at John chapter 6, we, we see this parallel of the 40 years in the wilderness where Moses is the one who uh, is being the prophet for the people, and they ask for food, and they have dr ask for drink, and they're complaining about stuff, and God, through Moses, delivers the people and provides for them the manna, literally the, what is it, right? And the quail, he gives them everything that they need to supply them as they wander, waiting for this new life in the promised land. Moses doesn't get to see it. He, he leads them to it. But Joshua, Yeshua, same name as Jesus, is the one who leads them through the water into the promised land. And when you look at John chapter 6, you've got Jesus in this wilderness where people need food. And what happens? He gives them bread. And John specifically gives us a little bit more discourse than we get in some of the other Gospels. We get the miracle in the other Gospels, but Jesus goes on to talk about the fact that he is the bread of life, that Moses wasn't the one providing for them back when they were wandering in the wilderness. That was God providing for them, and Moses was just the mouthpiece of God to the people. Jesus now is God standing before them, and he's not just giving them bread to fill their stomachs. He is the bread of life. Well, the people realize he's giving us food in the wilderness. He is the prophet. Well, yes, he's the prophet because he is the one that God has raised up. Not simply to give us law, but to keep the law in its entirety. Not to say the law is not important anymore, but the one who comes to keep every, every T crossed, every I dotted, he keeps every single part of it and he keeps it in your place. He comes and forgives your sin for all the times that you have failed to keep the law. And he kept it perfectly going all the way to the cross so that you have forgiveness and life, so that you can go forward in peace and joy, clinging to the cross of Christ, clinging to him when there is no other hope. Because in yourself, there is no hope, but in Christ, the bread of life, you have exactly what you need. He continues to give us his body and blood and the sacrament. He continues to feed us with every mouth, every word that comes from the mouth of God. And so we thank God that he is the one who provides for us and gives us everything we need, that Jesus is the prophet that God has raised up to give us life. Amen. Go in peace and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.